Hi there guys, Shark Hunter 21. I know, this is not where I left off. I left off fighting those bastards. I did complete the fucking mission. I did. Here, let me show you. Please? It's done. You didn't want to see that crap, believe me. There was a lot of cussing, a lot of spitting. Ugh. It sucked. Period. It just sucked. So. We're gonna go back to Mother Base now. See what the hell's going on. Cause you know there's gonna be a cutscene or two waiting for us. I just, I honestly want to get right into the story. I don't care about doing these extreme missions. <laughs> Especially not that one. That one was a nightmare. By the end of it, I was covered in my own blood. It was terrible. And I found the secret using the shot off, shot off, sawed off shotgun. That, boys and girls, is the secret to fucking getting done with that shit. I found with the sawed off shotgun, like, it was especially useful after I had dropped their armor down. Either just after I dropped the armor, or where the armor had like a moment, one more shot before it was broken. And then you just get in there with the sawed off shotgun, get off your two shots real fast, reload, get another couple shots. I mean, their health just starts plummeting. There we go. There we go. Alright. But, uh,. Where's my tape? We're gonna listen to some shit. We're gonna go see on pause. Here we go. Let's listen to hamburgers. Rise and shine, old timer. It is complete. I had our best and brightest working overtime, fine tuning the greatest burger the world has ever known. I call it the chemical burger. What on earth is that color? You mean ugly patty? Go on, try it. I am not very hungry. What? Oh, I get it. Now, sure, it's loaded with additives, Ew. but each one's been approved by the WHO for human consumption. Come on, one little bite's not gonna kill you. Are you sure of that? Mm. Fine. refrigerated storage or transportation infrastructure this bad boy could even solve Africa's hunger problem excuse me people will no longer fight over food or find reason to hate one another mankind will come together reunited between these fluffy buns forget Pax Americana say hello to Pax Hamburgana Pax Hamburgana Skullface thought that destruction was the way to free the peoples of the world from American imperialism but this is different. Tackling something head-on just makes for more conflict. Only by uniting the world can its various inhabitants truly become free. Having lived as an American parasite as long as I have, I know what I'm talking about. The Chemical Burger is poised to be the greatest liberating force the world has ever known. An ethnic liberator. Burger. Now all I need is a better brand image, starting with a name. I gotta run, old timer. I'll catch you later. Huh. Yeah, so it sounds like he just made the... No, it was called the Pretty Patty. Yeah. That's what they ended up calling it. It's SpongeBob, if, if you're not remembering. Um... Sorry, car. 
Oh, all right. Let's check in with Paz. See what happens. God, I hope something does happen, though. Watch her not be willing. Whatever supplies you need, just let us. Yep. Oh, snake. There we go. What is it, snake? Got something to show me, snake? Yep. Last nice picture. Football. I joined in. And there's Huey refereeing. He said, we have forsaken our countries and become one with the Earth. It is good being here together with everyone, you know? It was... Um... And then I... No, that is not right. But I am an angel of peace. I... I am a student. Uh, my head, it hurts. Hmm. Yeah, I said, I was expecting something more for sure. Well, let's just hang around for a second, see if any sleepy dialogue comes up. The real me. No. Alright. Odd. Alright. Um, and this is kind of weird. We don't have any main missions right now. I, uh, I, no, no one's fine. I don't know, maybe we need to listen to uh, the cassettes. Hey, that's what's holding us up. You know, when you brought back all oh, the yeah. soldiers who escaped, Eli knew they'd returned. Needless to say, nobody said a word to him. I guess they got a message to him somehow. Eli wasn't put in the corner in time out. He was locked up in that room. Oh. Completely cut off from the outside world. Then how do you find out? It's only one possibility I can think of. The Soviet Union has been researching military applications for psi phenomena. Psi? Things like psychokinesis and ESP, extrasensory perception. You mean moving objects without touching them, knowing what card somebody's holding up. Psychic powers? Come on. I thought that was just another bunch of disinformation aimed at the West. Just bear with me a second. One type of ESP is telepathy. It's the ability to know another person's thoughts through nonverbal means. You're saying Eli read our minds? It's the only idea that doesn't involve someone getting to him. <sighs> Ocelot. Look, Psy research isn't some hocus pocus. It's all evidence-based, scientific. There's got to be another explanation. Maybe one of the kids stuck a note to your back. I hope that's the case. But I am convinced that they have, or Eli has, a connection to some force we have yet to identify. You better watch yourself, boss. How am I supposed to do that? If he is depending on something for help, well, that's his Achilles heel. If you can figure out what that something is, you might be able to use it against him. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, and the medical team is looking after the kids left on Mother Base. For the moment, they don't seem too panicked. But boss, get this. Eli got those kids to plot their armed uprising as a diversion. Also, he could steal Sahalanthropus and escape. That brat got us good. Set us up and knocked us down. And then there's that mystery kid who was with Eli. If those two working together, I'd say things won't be over for a long time yet. Fun. All right. Well, let's just um. Please select a delivery. We jump back and forth here real fast. Because looks like we've got another photo. Don't know if that one's for us necessarily, or well, what I mean for us is uh, for pause. I, I should be saying. All right. Actually, like, uh, I'm I'm gonna do it again. I'm just gonna walk over there, but I'm gonna do it because it gives us a some good time to listen to some tapes. So.
Ooh, Origins. Skullface. Bingo. Real name. Damn it! Born in Hungary, more specifically northern Transylvania, after it reverted to Hungary from Romania. While he was young, the country allied with Germany as part of the Axis powers, but later during the war, it came under Soviet occupation. The Hungarians struggled for independence, but the Soviets came down. Hard. Just like he said, time and again, the country was ruled by a foreign tongue. When he was a young boy, he lost his native language, the bedrock for any developing child. His country, his family, his face, his identity, everything was stolen from him. All he had left was his skull. Skullface first tried his hand at espionage during all the chaos from the war. Agents, military officials, and soldiers who operated out of Hungary during the war vanished over the course of several months. This Soviet spy hunt rocked the counter-intel world. Mysterious fatal illnesses, accidental deaths, drownings, people having strokes behind closed doors. Just like Stalin, no one knew who was behind it. But all you need to do was look for who had the motive. They were all taken out by a man without a face. And now we've got an idea of how he did it too. He got revenge for his people, but he wasn't finished. Skullface defected to the West, eventually ended up with the SAS. That's where he met Zero. It's possible he began planning this whole thing back then. It's hard to say. In any case, Zero made him his XO. He always did have a thing for oddballs. But this one was set to lead a unit no one else would know about. When Zero created Fox, he also formed XOF as a support team. An unconventional special forces unit designed to support Fox, make it stronger. With Skullface given the orders, Zero never even told the boss about it. Nor the CIA, naturally. If Fox was Zero's silver bullet, XOF was the recoil when he pulled the trigger. Just like Newton's third law. While you were with Fox, Skullface was operating behind the scenes. Sometimes as your backup, sometimes as a mole or a scout, sometimes as your cleanup crew. Fox's tail, making sure the mission succeeded and that you survived. We only have his word to go on, but Skullface's goal was revenge against those who'd use language to subjugate Analysis people. Complete. Those corrupting a people's identity by forcing a new tongue on them. Those using the power of language to control information. Naturally, that set his sights on Zero. To Zero, English was simply the Analysis most convenient complete. code. But to Skullface, English was a parasite. And by eradicating it, he'd stop the world from being eaten away. If that didn't work, he was ready to see the world scorched by nuclear fire. Hey. To save language, culture, and race from annihilation, he was willing to overstep the hands of the doomsday clock. That is, of course, if you believe anything he had to say. They've got an attitude. They're not bad at heart. Boss, got time to train. Oh, Boss. there you go. There's the training. Boss. Well, let me see if uh, pause is up. Nope. Okay. Um, I've got one more thing here though. I do want to drop by the R and D team real fast. See if we've got anything going on with Huey actually. Because I've actually got quite a few questions for him now. Holy hell, it's up. Um, mostly, I'm just... I want to know why he's been lying to us. That's disturbing me the most right now. Because, of course, at first, he... Uh, he seemed like... He, he had already told, you know, he told us any, anything and everything, but then, I mean, he lied about his son and all that. So, I don't know. Alright, so the pause, I have pods so. How you doing, boss? 
But let's, uh, let's, uh, fuck it. Let's just check on him real fast. See what's going on. Go to air command and it's kind of spooky looking at. Oh, that looks cool. So let me see. So I want to see if that last picture is going to do anything. I said that last time. Nothing much happened, but uh, curious, very curious. Nope. Damn it. Hi, Huey. Huh. Like, I want to trust him and believe him and everything, but now that he he's lied several times, you know, my trust value for him's waned quite a bit. I don't lock it. I don't lock it at all. But, uh, uh, fuck, I don't know. I guess let's try to, um, just go do a quick mission or something. See if that'll activate things. Um. Please select a land landing zone. Roger. Oh. Hey, D-Dog. I mean, maybe just getting in the helicopter might trigger it, I hope. Otherwise, it might be me needing to listen to those tapes in yellow. We'll see. Come on. the behemoth's gone. AI pod's still down in there though. There we go. Yeah, if it doesn't give us a main up, uh, we'll just, again, like I said, do a side up, listen to the tapes while we're at it. And... Nope. That's weird. Very weird. Please select a mission. Huh. I don't know, we might need to do this one too. I mean, you didn't have to in Peace Walker, but I don't think you did at least. Um, hmm. All right. Hmm. Excuse me. Let's see. The, uh, you know what? Let's do unlucky dog. Here you are. Please select. Let's just do this one. Where is? Sure. Heading to Central Africa. All right. D dog, I love you, but I love quite a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Weird. I mean, if again, if we end up somehow not triggering it, I'll just have to look it up. Oh. Regardless, though, right now, I really badly just want to find Eli. I don't care if I blow up the stupid Metal Gear. I mean, one way or another, it probably has to go. I just... Ugh. I want the little boss to dealt with. Alright, we're not triggering anything here. Huh. 
All right. Hello, Africa. Oh, wrong button. Let's see if I can find something real fast. Cypher was having the PF's transport. Before we met you, the boss recovered it from a truck crossing the savannah. Are there metallic archaea inside it? Yes, the archaea metabolize uranium-235 to subsist. They must be stored inside yellow cake, or they cannot survive. So those biological traces we took for impurities were actually the real cargo. Of course they are deactivated, so they do not trigger. An enrichment. They are like baker's yeast. Yet, they do gradually enrich the uranium as they feed. I imagine you detected weapons grade traces. Yeah, we did. And the malachite that was loaded on the truck had traces of uranium in it, too. So that's the flower, huh? Skullface was gonna sell do-it-yourself new kits. The uranium enriching Archaea complete with the user's manual. And the ores with the uranium could be sourced by the client or provided by Cypher. Even the trace amounts buried in common ores can be enriched to weapons-grade uranium by the metallic Archaea. Proving that must have been the most important factor of the trials. That and the ability to successfully prevent detonation. So if the amount of the ores are low enough, they can get past any inspection. And you only need a tiny amount of the Archaea to act as the yeast. No great challenge to smuggle that either. The first step towards saturating the world with nukes. His plan. That was not my... You gotta extract him. My only goal in developing the metallic archaea was to save the Diné. What made you think a tool for creating undetectable nuclear weapons would save your people? After 70 years, the Diné reclaimed the Navajo Nation from which we were banished. Analysis we complete. bore all Analysis the hardships complete. of poverty. But we were proud to live off the land we called our own. But in the moment the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, every subject on board, leave the rest to us. Clear arms race between the Okay, subject is in. Began with the end of the Second World War. Accepted. The map Suddenly, there was a massive demand for uranium. And it was our ill fortune that the ground beneath the Navajo Nation was rich with uranium ore. The Black Anna government set up mine after mine, and many of the denarii. the 
it the name of the chip. Today, the uranium mines within the reservation are finally closing down. It is simply less expensive now to source uranium overseas. New victims, different places. But uranium is a tactical resource. To rely on a foreign country for it is a difficult decision to make. And she was in the perfect place to influence that decision. He could have condemned your people to the mines forever. The contamination comes not only from uranium. The fallout from the Nevada nuclear test. You gonna extract him? As if our fortunes were not already bad enough, we are also downwinders. To save the Dine, I must complete my origin. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Oh, fun. God. Alright, hold on. Let me get another tape roll real fast. I think Quiet can keep him busy for just a few moments here. Tucker, I haven't seen you eat a single thing since you got here. Let me guess. Photosynthesis? Oh. What makes you say that? Well, a long time ago, I knew someone with a similar ability. Well, you are correct. What? Most of my body is covered. Oh, that's right, that's right. I supply them with water, and in return, I receive sugars they produce when exposed to light. Mm -hmm. It isn't just my skin either. The parasites also act as my eyes. They have replaced me. He's coming too. Roger that. It is thanks to them that I live on after over a century. How did you obtain them anyway? Through your research? I would like to say as much, but there is more to it than that. Let me take you back 20 years. I had hit a dead end with my parasite research. Then I was approached by a foundation. They said they had a sample of an unusual strain of parasite. Which foundation? Apparently they had links to ARPA. But that is all I learned. I was somewhat ignorant of the ways of the world. Just being able to study it was enough for me. Yeah, I've heard that before. Go on. Half in doubt, I visited them to discover the body of an old man. Well, to be precise, his partial remains. A collection of parts, you could say. The man had died in an explosion. An old man, you say? His flesh had not decomposed. Analysis in fact, complete. the tissue's cells were still metabolizing. The parasite had infected or should I say assimilated with the tissues and was keeping them alive. I became obsessed with studying the body parts, foregoing food and even sleep. Every day was filled with new discoveries. The parasite's biology, internal anatomy, life cycle. But there was only so much I could learn through observation. And so I made a decision. To truly know the parasites, I had to live with them. So, you implanted them inside you from the dead man's flesh? Correct. It was quite a gamble. Whether or not they would adapt to me. But fortunately, it appears I was compatible with them. Or perhaps, through my many years of research... Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Were they that body's only parasite? Yes. However, there was a separate specimen that supplied its host. Roger. In response to pain. And yet another that could control insects at will through secreting heterogeneous pheromones. I wanted exposure to them to take them into me. But my wishes were denied. Their records, though, provided clues that helped advance my research. Would you care to join me? 
a life spent never worrying about food is the most wonderful one. I think I'll pass. But thanks. This has been helpful. Okay, <clears throat> so that was just confirmation about a couple things. Well, not confirmation, but information, I should say. That So the bodies he was talking about were the Cobra unit. I find it a little interesting that he didn't say anything about the Fury. Mind you, the Fury really didn't have anything special. Except for maybe that last part where he blew up and you saw his face in the fire. That was probably the only thing with him that I could say was off or strange. But of course, it sounds like the parasites or such Extraction arrived. Where this all originated from came from the end. It's kind of ironic. You know, of course, you know, the end, his parasites. If I if if I'm reading this right, or listening to it right. Ah, damn, still nothing, huh? Alright, um Let me see, yeah. This is the last of the unlucky dog, so let's Go ahead, get this knocked out. Heading to of course, it's gonna be in a heavy, heavily guarded place. Um, but yeah, and the others he he was talking about there, it sounded like the fear and the pain. Uh, it, definitely the pain with the one who could control insects, because God knows how that happened. But it sounds like we might have an answer finally. That. Could the answer for all this shit just be some weird parasite? I guess. Personally, I was fine just letting it be a supernatural thing that just happens, you know, every now and again. But, whatever. It's all good either way. Ugh. Crazy, crazy shit. Alright, let's see now. Let's get another tape prepped. Come on, tapes. The one that covers the parasite that lives on the surface of the skull's bodies is what gives them their power. Similar to my children who live in my skin. I modify the parasites I isolated from the body of that old man, differentiating them with various abilities. One that can blend perfectly into its surroundings by exposing the pigments in its cells at will. Another that by harboring multiple species of metallic archaea can oxidize and reduce metal, isolating the one that covers and transplanting it into an artificial medium should provide the same abilities as the skulls, but they can only subsist within a human body. Once transplanted into the medium, they will eventually die. Another thing, the weakness of the one that covers is desiccation. Their surface moisture loss is greater than ours. The reason they give off mist is to alleviate this by releasing the salts inside them as microparticles. Water vapor condenses around them, appearing as mist. But this dries out the atmosphere until they cannot even produce mist. And once their supply of water from the host runs out, the parasites are in danger. They, along with their host, enter a form of suspended animation. However, a similar effect occurs if they come into contact with a large amount of water. Rain, for instance, the one that covers will temporarily abandon other processes in its eagerness to absorb the water. Make the weather 